Hi guys, welcome to yet another episode of Rosa Loa Homemaking today Monday. So today we want to cook some chapati, cabbage and stew for dinner. But I will only share with you how I prepare my chapati. So I get some warm water, put in a bowl and then add some salt and sugar and stir. Is it stir or stir? Yes. Uh, and then stir to mix. Um... So this is how I make my chapati guys and uh, I am very excited to share with you. Of course, uh, cooking is not one of my things. So it's not one of those things I'm big at but uh, I am willing to learn. So if you have some ideas on how I can make my cooking better, please let me know. So I'm adding two tables, two tablespoons. <laughs> Of sugar on this chapati I'm only going to make uh, 10 chapatis uh, because uh, we are few at home I want them eaten uh, so I have to test to see whether it the water is enough uh, the it is testing and then I'm going to add cooking oil as you can see to that mixture uh, and then stir then after that after that i will add the baking <laughs> oh at baking i will add the flour i will add the flour i'm currently using a jab a jab is it a jab or a jab one of those two but uh, before then i have to ensure that this mixture really behaves i do not want drama the reason for putting the oil is to so that the flour does not stick on the um on my container and as well as on my bowl my yellow plastic bowl or whatever you will be using but also to it leaves the dough very uh soft so um, well, let me wash my hands again and then get the work started. I'm just going to dive directly like that. As you can see the way it's behaving, it's because of the oil. And then this uh, flour is very, the dough has become very soft. It will be easier to make, uh, especially to roll the chapati. Because, you know, rolling chapati is another workout on your shoulders. But when it is like this, it's easier. So immediately after that, I cover it with that uh, cloth uh, for some time. It will stay like that um, as I give it time to rest. And then after that, I just come immediately and begin to cook. So I said I'm going to cook only nine chapatis for my family for supper you see i'm also applying another oil and then roll it again mm, and then roll it again <laughs> before i take it to the pan wait and see the outcome uh don't ask me why i'm doing only nine chapatis as you can see my weight the weight i have i look very uh, should I say uh, I have a lot of weight so standing for me is a challenge my feet are getting tired my back is also complaining yeah because I was carrying a whole human being recently who is now just at home but don't worry about this weight by the way if you have not subscribed to this channel please do so 
because very soon we are going to start work out keeping our bodies healthy i'm just giving myself time to heal completely and then i'll be able to get back to work out working out at home and me i'm cooking chapatis and people are picking to go and eat <laughs> that is what happens in my house i cook as people eat So guys, by the way, cooking chapati, it's not that hard, but it's also not easy because chapatis can backfire. Uh, so the secret is on how you mix the dough. So you mix the dough, how you do it, will either make your chapati become unleavened bread so that as a family you just break it <laughs> or remain being chapati my pan the one that i'm using <laughs> i have had that pan since i was in campus a friend gave me and it was not new so my cousin came to visit and i she was making for me chapati so i gave her that pan and she thought wow what is this that you used to make chapati? This is not a good pan. But anyway, I used it to make chapati. And I am... I don't see any problem with it. Or maybe I've gotten used. Anyway, I am yet to go to... Is it Kamkunji? And get a pan. Yeah. I'll go and get a pan. The one that my grandmother used to... Used to make chapati we are almost done and uh, when we are done after that we'll just clear the mess after after you make chapati if you are not careful to clean the place that you've made chapati all that flour might actually get into your sitting room get into the carpet get everywhere so I would advise that anytime you finish doing chapati, please clean your, just clear that place so that it is clean again. So we are done. See how our chapati looks like. It's not burned. Ha. See the layers. Buona. See. That's how it looks like. Ah. Oh. I'm telling you it. Eh. Very nice. See. Ah. Uh, it's not dry. That's it. You can just make that chapati that way. Without complicating life. And uh, this chapati. Wow. Hmm, it tastes like heaven, I tell you. Tastes very nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Easy. So, thank you guys for uh, being part of this YouTube channel. We really appreciate you. We pray that God will bless you. Pray that God will keep you. As I told you that my kitchen is very small. So when I'm cooking things like chapati, I have to move some things to the living room. The next time I'm going to move, if I will move out of this house, I will look for a house that has a bigger kitchen. Now that I am gaining some interest in kitchen things, you know, so that's what I will do. 
Um, I have not been very keen on kitchen, but uh, this time round, I see myself becoming, I don't know whether it comes with age, but yeah. So anyway, guys, allow me to end uh, this video. Uh, but then share with us a scripture. You know, um, Psalm 30, in the book of Psalms, Psalm 34, 7 says that um, delight yourself in the Lord and he will grant you the desires of your heart. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will grant you the desires of your heart. Now, for some time, I have been reading that scripture and I thought it meant that if I do what is right in the sight of God, then God is going to do the things that I want. The God is going to answer my prayers according to how I have prayed. I have thought like it's a, it's a give and take kind of a passage of scripture. But then this morning as I was reading that scripture again, I realized actually it is being with the Lord it is actually walking with the Lord. It's actually keeping in step with the Spirit of God to a point that my desires are aligned to the will of God. And so God granting the desires of my heart, it's not a give and take. It is not mm -hmm. I have done it so he does. It is God brings me to a place where what I desire is in accordance to God's will. And that was quite eye-opening for me. That delighting myself in the Lord brings my heart to where God wants it to be. Brings my heart to the place where God... Uh, Let's say sanitizes. God wipes any desire. God wipes away every need that is not from him. That is not guided by him. That does not honor him. And God helps me to understand his will. So delight yourself in the Lord. And he will grant you the desires of your heart. It's not a give and take kind of a promise. It is a it, it is understanding the will of God. You be with God so much to a point that whatever he does, or whatever he wants to do, you have been aligned spiritually. And so you know and you are aware. So even as we continue to do this community, even as you continue to engage here on this channel, please remember to delight yourself in the Lord. Remember that God is the master homemaker. He is the builder. He is the owner. He is the one who gives you all the skills. Even the cooking skill. I mean even the desire to clean dishes. Even the energy to walk. Even the life that we have. We have been given by God. So delight yourself, child of God, in the Lord. And he will definitely grant you your heart desires. Have a blessed afternoon. So this is our chapati. We are going to have chapati, cabbage, and some stew. That is our supper tonight. And we are grateful. That is our cabbage. Uh, that is our stew um, and then that is our chapati yeah you can see how it looks like very soft you are welcome to eat <laughs> ah, um. yeah we are going to enjoy this chapo so when served on the plate that is the meal. That is the meal. 
vegetables, proteins, and starch. That is it. Thank you for watching till the very end. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell.